All right, party people, we're back. And we are actually doing something doing something new that we thought would be super beneficial and fun. We're doing a week ahead weekly astro numerology forecast. Um, so we're going to be talking about the week of June 5th through June 11th. Correct. Mm -hmm. That's yes. right. <laughs> um, so we're going to be talking about, uh, again, what the forecast is from a numerological perspective and also some of the major transits astrologically that are coming up. And so I'll just lead with mm -hmm. the astrology of the week. So this coming week, uh, we're going to be in the energy of a five. Now five is the number of change. Mm -hmm. So this week, there are going to be a lot of, um, changes that you might be called to make. There might be some unexpected changes. You have to remember that like five energy is very like expect the unexpected. So I would say <laughs> your face right now, this must just, totally I'm coincide so with the I'm astrology. I'm so excited to yeah. help to talk about the transits that are coming. Yeah. Up. That's okay. why I'm like, by the way, I told Sophie, I don't know what the transits are. So I told her, let's, I want to know on this call. So it'll be a surprise for all of us. Um, but yeah, the five is really all about like unexpected changes. So this could be a week where you hear from someone you did not expect to ever, ever hear from again. This could be unexpected news that comes through, whether that's good or bad, right? So kind of be thinking about that. Um, the five is also the energy of new experiences. It's very dynamic. It's very lively. It's um, all about the five senses. The five actually represents the five senses. So, you know, sensuality is going to be very present this week. And you might be wanting to get more in your body, whether that's like enjoying good food or getting a massage, um, working out more, anything like that. So again, unexpected changes, um, lively energy, the senses, new opportunities. You may also feel like a new sense of freedom this week. Um, five is actually known as, well, it's the number of change, but it's also known as the freedom seeker, mm. the free seeker. What is the word I'm looking for? You know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Yeah. Freedom seeker. No, that makes sense. Um, yeah. There's I'm, a better word for that, but I'm really tired right now. Basically, it really is all about freedom and like, what is your definition of freedom? So definitely think mm. on that this week as well. Like, when do you feel the most free? Go do that. Like for me, I love just getting into nature. I will leave my phone at home and my girlfriend, Michelle comes and picks me up and we go deep into nature. And like, I don't have my technology on me. I'm totally disconnected. That's when I feel the most free. It's beautiful. So I'll definitely be doing that this week. But again, just kind of think about that. Um, and yeah, embrace flexibility, be adaptable this week, because mm. again, five is all about being adaptable, all about change. So that's the numerology of the week in a nutshell, as quickly as I can give it to you, because we like to keep these videos short and sweet. Oh and my God. Okay. Now I'm so excited because when you're talking <laughs> about expect the unexpected, I'm like, well, yeah. buckle up because we got a lot of buckle Venus, up. Venus action this week. Oh so, no. Can yes. my heart handle it? <laughs> That's why I was like, on, and when you're talking about people, like unexpected people, but like we start the week off with Venus opposite Pluto, June 5th. We, we then midweek, we have Venus square Rahu K2 or North node, South node. And then yeah. towards the end of the week, it's Venus square Jupiter. And so you're talking a lot about this, like change and change. And like, wait a minute, where, where is Venus at? Has Venus entered Leo by this point? Um, I have to double check, but like, I want to say it has, cause you were talking about your Venus return and you're yeah, like, my Venus very, return you're very excited June. about that. I'm, I'm excited. There's a lot of good love stuff Yeah. in June. Well, I don't know. These transits are a little sticky. And by the way, Venus, for those of you who might not know is the planet of love and money and beauty. Mm -hmm. um, so when we talk about anything that has to do with Venus, that's, those are the themes that will be coming up and squares mean tension growth. Mm -hmm. Um, usually it's one of those breakdown to breakthrough kind of transits. Mm -hmm. Um, there was there, that was, it was just squares that you brought up, right? There wasn't yeah. any trines or anything. Okay. Yeah. There are a few trines like Mercury trine Pluto's at the end, but what I think is just really fascinating is if you really put the numerology of the five in with the Venus, it's like expect the unexpected changes and like really like a lot of growth in your relationships with people that loved ones with money with like your fulfillment and happiness and so 
that's actually what I took away. And that's why I was like getting so excited because I was like, oh my God, it's like interesting to kind of layer in. And I mean, really... these tools work in conjunction. Yeah. Yeah. And so um, it's really interesting to see how then you relate to freedom, but also in the aspect of like relationships. And oftentimes relationships do end up defining your boundaries and what you do need in order to feel free. And so it's just really interesting to see how, you know, for this week, astrologically, it's a lot of heavy Venusian Venus energy, which is really all about love, money, fulfillment, happiness. But then, you know, in conjunction with that, it's like talking about the five energy and where that's coming to play. So I definitely yeah. fully expect a lot of relationship themes, a lot of Venus themes to come up this week for, for people. And then, you know, Venus square Rahu Ketu, that is karmic nodes. Like Rahu and Ketu are the karmic nodes. And anytime I see any kind of major action going on with the karm karmic nodes, I'm like, there's a big part of fate and destiny playing in. So when you're talking mm. about the five and then I'm thinking about the karmic nodes, I'm like, oh my God, like, and by it's, karmic nodes, she means North node and South node yes, for yes. people who maybe aren't aware. Yeah. But I was getting so excited because I'm like, oh my goodness. It's like expect something, a really pivotal, unex it's like expect, but like it's unexpected, like some kind of pivotal moment, some kind of defining moment. And it could be something small, right? Like we never really know what moment triggers other faded types of paths that we have and said so that's actually yeah, it could what... be a faded meeting or maybe yeah. it could be like closure with an ex or yeah. maybe you're in a relationship and you're not sure which direction it's going to take and this is one of those transits where you're gonna know and mm -hmm. when is it exact what day so it is june 8th that is venus square rahu and k2 um and, and then, rahu is the north node and k2 mm -hmm. is the south node again for those who are not familiar with vedic astrology terms yeah and then you know i also did want to talk about like watch out for the venus opposite pluto and like we have some pluto oh, action God. in here yo let me tell you that pluto energy pluto is all about sex death rebirth transformation like mm -hmm. whenever pluto's involved it will kind of shake you a little bit yeah, which is Venus kind of goes along with the Pluto. five because five is here to like stir yeah. things up and like so when you're talking stir about the, the five the five I was like oh my god and I'm looking at Pluto over here like looking at you Pluto <laughs> stirring things <laughs> up you know and so Venus opposite Pluto it's like we start the week off with a bang with the Venus opposite Pluto which is happening June 5th and then we end it with Mercury trine Pluto at the end and so all this pluto activity is definitely a kick in the butt and like yeah, five energy to always me is, is always a little bit of a kick in the butt i always tell people that the five energy <laughs> is kind of like a plastic bag floating in the wind <laughs> you just like you don't know where that bag's gonna end up honestly <laughs> Or sometimes oh. it's like being on a roller coaster and at first it's fun. And then by the end, you're like, get me off of this roller coaster, please. Oh <laughs> a cue that Katy Perry song. Do you ever feel I know, like a plastic bag? <laughs> right. That's how it goes. Um, oh okay. Wait, God. back to our original point. Wait, I just want to talk about Venus opposing Pluto. So again, mm -hmm. when something is in opposition, it's, I would say like a constrictive energy. I would say it's kind of just like ugh. it's like a snake wanting to shed its skin mm -hmm. and you're trying to like shed that's what it feels like to me how would you describe I actually think it's a push-pull energy and maybe mm -hmm. that's why it feels constricting because it's like it's opposite so it's a pushing but then pulling yeah and so you might good point you might feel like triggered and like it's, a plastic it, bag yeah, floating in the <laughs> floating in the <laughs> for real I literally wrote that in my book um yeah. yeah so then we're gonna have you know Venus opposing this planet of like ultimate transformation so mm -hmm. what's like a practical way that that would apply to someone's life I mean I think that for me I always read Pluto energy as digging into your subconscious and like the hidden and like Absolutely. It's, the, it's the planet that rules the underworld and so it's kind mm -hmm. of like all your deep, deep stuff that you maybe n might not have worked through comes into play, but it comes into play through Venus themes, which are relationships, love, money, 
you know, that's happiness, like how you define these. And then mixed in with that five plastic bag shit that you're talking yeah. about, it's like, it's unexpected. And that's kind of Pluto because it kind of comes out of nowhere. Like you don't remember it's hiding in there, but it's there inside. Yeah, I think I I think this this coming week there's going to be a lot of shifts in mm-hmm. relationships and a yeah. lot of shifts within like our value systems yes. as well. Yeah. Um because I do always see Venus as because it rules Taurus, I do see it as being value systems mm-hmm. as well, that second house kind of vibe. For sure. Um so yeah, I mean, I would say this week everyone just kind of be the plastic bag, Uh Um, (laughs) just allow the energy to move you and just know it may feel like chaos, but eventually the plastic bag lands on the ground. (laughs) Eventually it comes back down. Or in a tree. (laughs) Yeah. I hope that you end up in a tree, someplace beautiful, you know, like maybe you make a home with some chipmunks. I don't know. I mean, be adaptable. We are coming off of like the full moon which happens june 3rd right and full moons like can kind of bring up stuff so it's like going into this week it might feel a bit energetically like a a roller coaster and you know the highs are which is also five the lows are low which is very five and so um just pay attention to like Carol Hart said values relationships what makes you happy ultimately yeah um and that's really gonna come into play and like anything that being triggered is being triggered so that you can work through it and and grow because that's what square energy is too it's like all about growth and it's just difficult growth but at the end of the day lasting growth it's long lasting growth Mm -hmm. exactly exactly yeah so i'd say trust your instincts and Mm -hmm. embrace spontaneity yeah no i mean that's a great bottom line that's a great bottom line and um (laughs) if you're when you're a plastic (laughs) (laughs) you know just trust that <laughs> trust that you'll land softly and plastic bags always land soft soft you know they do because they do. they're not that heavy yeah no. <laughs> you're gonna land softly this week we promise you even if it does not feel like that even if you're in a tower moment you will land softly okay. i am intending it for all of us dear god now yeah. i gotta go check my chart and see <laughs> where wait a minute oh no because my natal venus is in leo okay Woo. gotta buckle up for this week Woo. <laughs> Do your little <laughs> blend your aura. Yeah, yeah. C- clean your auras, everybody. It's gonna be, right. it's gonna be one, but it'll yeah. be good. Mm-hmm. We're not here to instill fear. We're just here to say, this week is gonna be a lot, but we can choose for it to be a lot of goodness, right? Yeah, a lot of goodness. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Well, Manifest I think it. I think that's a, I think that's a good way to end our little. <laughs> This is our first forecast. weekly forecast. I hope all of you guys love it. Let us know in the comments what you're thinking, how you're feeling, and we'll be back next week.